TNTM The Show presents Talking Nerdy, June edition, with your hosts Pablo Gunner, Marvin Goof, The Ambassador, and we are here to talk nerdy to you about Star Trek Discovery. Let's move on to Star Trek Discovery, which finally caught up with that. Watched all of that. It actually has been a few weeks because I was like, I got so into it that I was like, I gotta finish this. And the way that we've scheduled our recordings, we actually could have, the last episode, we could have, if we would have postponed it a week, we could have covered it because it actually ended l the previous month. Yeah. And that's, and I think we're gonna have that same problem again with like my adventures with Superman, maybe. I mean, I liked it. It was a solid season. It did kind of end up going nowhere. With the finale of they're like, oh, it was the progenitors. And the progenitors were like, no, it wasn't us. It was someone else before yeah. us. You know, so it was like whoever created us is the one that created this. But if you want to use it, you can use it if you trust people to use it safely. And then they're like, nope, don't trust people. Which is fair. It's definitely fair. Yeah, should not trust people. You know, like they're, people are not trustworthy. Like, it just makes you wonder as an overall, why didn't they just destroy it? Destroy it from the beginning. From yeah. the beginning, if you're... If you would have had that thought process from the get-go, which is, what if we find it, and then we go... Like, their, their whole thought process from the beginning was flawed and stupid. The idea of, hey, let's give it to this uh, 23rd century Starfleet that we're still not 100% familiar with. Let's trust them with the power to create and destroy life. Mm. And do just whatever they want. I still enjoyed the journey, though. I said, it was, you know, I, I still, like I said, it, the, the final season makes me want to go back and re-watch the rest of the seasons that I missed. And so I think in that, they are successful. They've, they've hooked me for newer Star Trek as well, because I'm, now I'm going to watch the newer stuff. So, I mean, it wasn't a complete failure. I still enjoyed it. It was still entertaining. I won't yeah. say it was, like, the best of the best. But it, it's definitely worth checking out at the end of the day. Like, it's still enjoyable to me. I still was entertained, and that's what, that's what I'm showing up for. I'm not, I'm, I'm not even, like, not everything has to blow me away, which I was impressed with certain things, and, huh. and you know, but I, I, I had fun. It was good. It was enjoyable. I, yeah, like, maybe you're just kind of like, yeah, if we would have thought, if, if we should have made this up at our decision up at the end. Well, what if we find it and then this? Well, then let's destroy it now. Boom. You know what I mean? Like, yeah, you're right. You are, you are right. You know? But like, say, hey, it's not about the destination. It's about the journey. <laughs> so I, I enjoyed the journey. You know? Yeah. That and, so and the finale... I like the characters. I, it's a good time to me. I felt like the finale just wasn't good as an episode altogether. Because it was like, basically felt like two... Two partial episodes yeah. just rammed together, uh, harsh, harsh without even like really trying. So like I wonder yeah. too if we're gonna see down the road when she's old, if we're gonna see like a, her come back as the old admiral or whatever she was, you know, like in the end. So yeah, it, but, yeah, yeah, and so it was just so jarring the difference between them. They it felt really rushed the whole ending to it. Mm -hmm. The main season story was just super rushed. Like, they were just trying to get it done. So they could ram horn the uh, good farewell yeah. uh, content. But the farewell content didn't really fit in because it just happened. I think it would have been better if they would have given us, like, another episode at least to be, like, to give that farewell episode. You know, to, like, to give it because, to its own. Because what mm -hmm. would have been better was resolve the issue, mm -hmm. set up leeway for the farewell ep yeah. part. Because there was no leeway or anything, it mm -hmm. just happened. Just right. Mm. Whoa, man, you just ran through a big pile of dog shit! It happens. No, I agree. Oh, and so then dear. suddenly, it's 30 years later, and <laughs> she has a kid, and she is getting ready to retire the Discovery. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's interesting. Well, even that, and she's like, oh, I'm just going to drop it off here. And that's it. And I'm like, hmm, what does that mean? What is... And I wonder if that's going to tie into the earlier seasons of the show, even. Or, or if it's going to tie into another show. So that, that, that makes me interested for other Trek, you know? Mm -hmm. So either way, whether it's its own show or whatever. So what do you give it? I give it a pass. Ooh, gosh. 
guy is just doling them out, huh? Left and right. Let's talk about our merch. Let's talk about our merch. I'm sporting uh, our Star Wars stuff, the Star Wars Talk Nerdy to Me, just plain. And then I got the shorts, Talk Nerdy to Me. You can get that on our website. It's on sale with free shipping. Probably going to continue to be because of the fact that Acolyte is continuing into the next month. A lot of this stuff is like prototype stuff. So it's upgraded. There's better versions on our actual website. And hey, if there's anything that you want customized to you or you there anything you have any idea, just send it to us and we'll do our best to do that and see what we can get away with. Because there's some stuff we can, some stuff we can't. <laughs> you know, we push the boundaries as much as we can. Yeah, <laughs> yeah I got my uh, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Talk Nerdy to Me shirt. Sure. Pretty awesome. I got the Halo web. The good Halo. Ooh, yeah. Yes. I like it. So, yeah. Uh, and if you want any of this stuff, just request it. If it's not on the website, just hit us up and, and we'll make it available to you and, and hook you up. Cool? So, for shout outs, we really don't have much. Uh, it's because, um, well, I mean, all, MK Jekyll and Hyde is now at the top of that list because they're phenomenal. They reached 250 subs on their for their comics for their online comics and and they're really cool and really awesome and, and they do great stuff i know they're a, a parent as well and so it's, it's great conversing with them and just all their posts are great the pesky gremlins they have a new website and they have like new comics web comics out too that look fun and enjoyable and and they always help out with their stuff eric lopez that guy's always a g like he's the best on on twitter mm -hmm. and retweeting our stuff as well as the podcast that never dies or what, what is it the podcast that wouldn't die the podcast that wouldn't yeah, die the podcast yes. that wouldn't die. they're always awesome too check them all out i believe that's it for us right yeah just make sure to like and subscribe talk nerdy to me stay nerdy planet earth keep it nerdy y'all